Hello, welcome to the Maya Tool Belt. This is Michael. Today we're going to talk about reverse curve direction. This can be found in the surfaces menu under edit curves. Reverse curve direction. So before we can reverse any curves, we need to have a curve. So let's go to create CB curve tool. Now just create a simple curve here. Now before I hit enter to finish this curve's drawing, or this curve creation. Let me hide the grid. Let's take a little bit of a closer look at what's going on right here. I'm going to change the background color to black, hopefully. And let's start my curve over. So let's start over. Click. So the very first point when I'm creating this CB curve is a little square, a little yellow square here. And I can click again to continue my curve and you see the next point is not a square but a little U like the letter U and the next point is a dot so that's significant so the way I'm creating this curve this is the direction of the curve from the start point to the second point and so on that is the flow of this curve so when I click again you'll see more points I can click however many times I want to and all the remaining clicks I make are forming these points. They're not little squares or U's, they're just points or dots. So now when I hit enter, my curve is made. And if I right click on it and choose control vertex to display the control vertices of the curve, you'll see again the little square and the U and then dot 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 for all the rest of them. The square signifies the start point of the curve and the U signifies the direction, which is going this way. So that's important whenever we start reversing the curve's direction, you can tell the difference, because you won't really be able to see it visually. So let's say I want to reverse this curve's direction. I'm going to go to Edit Curves, Reverse Curve Direction. I'll go into the Options, Edit Reset. You'll see I only have one setting in, in the Options, and that is Keep Original and what that simply means is it'll instead of reversing your curve and being done with it it'll actually duplicate your curve and reverse the duplicate so you still have the original curve after reversing it but we'll keep that unchecked for now just hit reverse nothing visually changes but if I right click on my curve and go to control vertices you'll see now that the square is over here and the next point from this square is the U which is right here so the direction now is going this way rather than the way it was originally. And that's the gist of reversing that curve's direction. I'll simply uh, undo all that. So now our direction is back the way it was at the beginning. And I'll go back to Edit Curves, Reverse Curve Direction Options, and just check the Keep Original so you can see what that looks like. Hit Reverse. And now if I move this curve, you'll see there's a second curve. And if I display their CVs, this curve here starts here with the U right there. And then this the duplicate starts here with the U going this way. So these curves are reversed from each other. So why is that important? Well, certain functions in Maya are based on your curve's directions. If I place these on top of each other like this, and I'll actually change the background back to the original color, because I don't need to worry about that anymore. If I select them both, and let's say I want to do a loft, and I have a video going over all the loft commands, if you want to click over here and check that out. What loft does is it takes two or more curves and creates a surface spanning between the curves that you choose to apply a loft to, in this case, these two. I select this one, shift select this one, so I have these two curves selected. And I go to surfaces, loft, and in my options, I'll edit reset just to have default settings. And I'll uncheck the auto reverse checkbox. Because by default, uh, loft has a very helpful feature, which if your curves are reversed from each other, it'll automatically fix that problem, which that is a problem sometimes. So just to demonstrate, the difference between the two curves having different curve directions I want to uncheck that fix which comes in these options here and now I will aloft 
So you'll see that my surface is attempting to loft the curve from start point to start point. And what that means is this curve starts here, this curve starts here. So because the two starting points are aligned in this way, the surface stretches from there to there and it kind of gives this twist. And so it's trying to line up the surface directions of the curves to create the surface that loft created between the two. So if I were to reverse the curve direction of this curve right now, I go to edit curves, reverse. Oh, I have, because I have uh, keep original turned on, so let's go to edit curves, reverse curve direction, options, uncheck, keep original, reverse. Now my lofted surface is fixed because now both curves are flowing in the same direction. So that's why reverse curve direction is important. Loft is an example of the tool having a fix for that problem within the tool itself, but not all tools are like that. So if you ever come across a cir circumstances where the surface is being twisted and you're trying to use curves to create a surface, try reversing the curve direction and see how that works. So again, that's under Edit Curves, Reverse Curve Direction. Hope you found that helpful. If you have any requests for future videos, please let me know. And uh, thanks for watching.